highlight rumors. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import in. Oh, I'm not dressed for work. Oh, we better sort that out quickly because there's no time to lose. That's better. Well, let's get on. My name's Ken Fisher, and this is Live Link Training. Okay, let's now take a look at importing images into Lightroom directly from your camera or card reader. Now to do this, you can connect your camera directly to your computer or you can just use the memory card and a card reader. Either is okay. Now here you can see I've got an empty catalogue with no images in. If I click here on the folders panel, I'll just click this little triangle just to open it up. You'll see there's nothing in because we've got no images in there. Well, all that's going to change because we're going to import some. Now I have a card reader connected. So let's dig right in and click the import button, which is down here. And it'll open the import dialog. Now it looks quite complicated, but it isn't. I'll just close that down just to simplify it a little bit. Right, on this left hand side, these are any devices which are connected. So here you can see I've got my hard drives and everything. Down at the bottom here, I've got my EOS Digital F. This is my memory card. And if I click this little triangle here, you can see I'm now navigating into the memory card. So I want to go in again, so I'm going to click this little white triangle. And then I'm going to click once on the end folder because that's where all my photographs are on my memory card. And here you can see all the photographs have appeared in the workspace. Now each one of them has a little tick in the corner. Now that means they're all going to be imported. If I scroll down you can see there's quite a few of them on it. Well I don't want that because quite a few of them are very similar or the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to click uncheck all. And that's going to take all the ticks out. So now none of them will be imported. But I'm now going to choose. So I'm going to, let's say we'll have that one. And I like the look of that one. And I'll probably have that one. And if you've got one that you're not sure about, you can double click it to open it up to full screen and have a look. And if you don't like it, you can go back to grid view. But yeah, I like that one. So I'm going to click the include in the import. I'm going to go back to my grid view by clicking this little icon here. I'll continue scrolling down and go, oh, I'll have that one. And I'll have that one. And we'll call that a day. So on the left hand side, it's where the images are. Now, what am I going to do with them? Well, these four options at the top are what I'm going to do with them. And I've got copy as DNG, copy, move and add. Well, the one I'm looking at today is copy as DNG because these are raw files. If these were JPEGs, I could just use the copy function. But you can see underneath it gives you a little, a little tip on what it's going to do. It's going to convert to DNG in a new location and add to the catalogue. So it's going to copy the image from the memory card onto the hard drive, convert it to DNG as it does it. Jobs are good. OK, so that's what I'm wanting it to do. Now, where do I want to put it? And that's the destination. That's what's happening over here. Now, there's lots of things we're going to be going into, but not in this video. The only thing I'm looking at here is where are we going to put the files? And that is determined by the destination folder. So I'm going to click to open up the destination folder. And here we can see a very similar thing to the left hand side. But this time we're going to make a folder. So I'm going to put them on the desktop. So I'm going to first navigate to wherever my desktop is here. I'm just going to click on it. And then up at the top of the destination folder, I can see we've got into subfolder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to type, and you can see I've done this earlier. I'm going to type dear in there. And so now on the desktop, I'm going to create a subfolder called dear, and then I'm going to put these images into it. 
where it says organize I want to put them all in one folder and you can see down here it put in this little folder with a little plus that means right we're going to be adding something to that folder so one final check we've found out where the images are we've decided what we want to do with them and here we've decided where we're going to put them and now all I'm going to do is click the import button and then up at this top left you can see it's converting to digital negative and importing and it gives you a little slider that tells you how it's doing and as it's finishing it puts them in and then that little noise means right we've finished so now we've got one two three four five six so we've got half a dozen images that we've imported now put them on the hard drive and added them to the catalogue and if I now click my folders panel open you can see now that on Bootcamp C, which is my main hard drive, I've now got a folder called Deer. And if I click on it, you can see these are the images that are now in that folder. So that's it. How to import images from your camera or a card reader into Lightroom. Well, that's it. I do hope you found that of use. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave a message for me under the video. And if you get a minute, click that subscribe button and help me grow my Photoshop learning community. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.